All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to some more Planet Zoo today. I got some big stuff to do. I restarted my zoo from yesterday and built onto it. This game is good. I know. I really like it. Oh, good. Some more people joining us now, too. I see some people coming from the other stream, it seems. Hi there, Arnold. How are you doing? Hi there, Jacob. Good to see you all here. Ooh. All right, we got some good things uh, for updates. Oh, look at that. 17% complete. That is very nice. Hi, everyone. Hi there, Timmy and Nathan, Jacob, and everyone else. Good to see you here. Got some big news. Looks like we're saving the kings of the jungle. Apparently 17% complete. A lot of people are playing this beta. That is awesome. Hi there, Sam. How are you? Hi there, Marius. Wow, a lot of people from Denmark. Apparently all of Denmark is tuning in. Hi, Denmark. <laughs> Good to see everyone here. All right, typical game request, typical birthday scam. It's my, it's my birthday. Yeah, you wouldn't be on here if it were. Hey, this ain't no cool place to hang out. This is for nerds. Mm. Delicious. For oh, another one was first. My first. It's my first stream. It's my birthday. Parents died in a horrific plane crash. Shout out. Hi there, Dove. How you doing? Sorry, I only give shout-outs to people from Norway. It's the only thing I can do. Is this game any good? Well, that's up to you to decide. You watch the stream, and you can let me know in an hour or two. Hi, farming company. Oop, you're from Norway? Sorry, I can't give you that coveted shout-out. You just finished work? Good, well, welcome to the stream. Yeah, this game is a lot of fun. I like it so far, but I feel like I want there to do more. Is there gorillas in the game? Uh, yes. Although I haven't seen them yet, and I haven't gotten them yet. But we'll uh, ver we'll get to that very soon. Alright, the first hour of the stream will be a bunch of you should play game requests, so everybody get ready for that. That's a always a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. Planet Zoo, yeah, whatever. Hey, you should play, um, North vs. South for the Commodore 64. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll wait. Okay. All right. Yeah, the, the cool thing about uh, Planet Zoo, too, is that uh, you can actually have, like, polar bears and penguins, I think. I, I think I've saw, like I, I've seen snow leopards, so you can actually have snow biomes, too. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, you can name the animals, and I'm going to name them after uh, the next person who becomes a member. So uh, everybody click it and tab on the join button we're naming animals after. So yesterday we started a, a new uh, franchise at a zoo that was pretty good. I had some problems of escaping animals and stuff like that, but I've started a new map called Raptoria World China. We're going to go there, and we're going to take a look at uh, some improvements that I made. I, I made a new zoo, but we're about where we were yesterday, so this is a new and improved zoo, so it should be pretty good for sure. How's my day so far? Good. All right, here we go. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, we got Hippopotamus. Nice. Hippo's hanging out. All right, and I've also cut off the rest of the park just so I could build on this. All right, cool. Wow, we got a lot of visitors in this park. This is crazy. Look at how many people are here. They're all taking a look at the zebras and stuff. Very nice. Can you name staff members? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if you can or not. I wonder if you can name your guests. Uh, let's see. Christy, Marla. I'm, I think you can rename everybody. Ooh, what was her? What are some of the people's thoughts? Uh, that hippopotamus looks bored. Can they fix the vandalized things? What are they protesting? All right, yeah. We got a few problems here. I need to start researching toys and stuff for all the animals, so we'll see how that works pretty good here. Yeah, there's ostriches too. That's right. Yeah, we got ostriches. What do we have here? I've got zebras. Oh, oh I thought that one just died. <laughs> he laid down. Uh, we got zebras, hippos, uh, warthogs. Uh, we've got ostriches and then turtles. And then I think I have something else, too. Um, I think I have... we got to get some peacocks or something going like that. We'll see about that. Yeah, this is a new park, but it has all the same stuff we did before. And I'm doing some research now for other things. Um, toilet block 12 is inaccessible. Ow, it's literally connected to the path. That's weird. How is that toilet block inaccessible? must be glitched or something. This literally has a path. 
There's no way so somebody can't get there. Interesting. Yeah, a big plastic ball should do... Yeah, we're researching literally a volleyball right now. That's kind of a weird thing about the game. You have to research a lot of the other things to make the animals happy. So let's see if we can uh, continue on with some research. Uh, what is that? Under shelters, barriers, habitats, I think? I don't know how to research stuff here. There we go. I guess I can only hire one at a time. Habitat Blueprints Level 1. Alright, well hopefully we get that research done soon too. Yeah, uh, so in order to make some of these animals happier, you need to give them like a few toys and things like that. Even though I've got all this stuff set up, like education billboards and things like that, our park uh, is still a really low rating. So, uh, mixed habitat yet? Uh, I haven't yet. But that's because most of my habitats are kind of small, except for the zebras. But I'd like to get some giraffes or something like that soon. Also, I needed to increase the number of animals. I was focusing on uh, fixing all the things that I could. But they are breeding. Look at, we got little baby ostriches over here. Aw, chicken nuggets. Ooh, that was a fast one. Ooh, that was a fast nugget. There he goes. Wow. Cool. All right, let's see here. Yeah, pla the Planet Zoo uh, game is pretty good so far. There's a few things that are a little tricky, though, like uh, it's kind of difficult to build paths sometimes. Like there's a huge uh, area that you can't build near. Like if, if you try to build near a barrier, look at these like large buffer zones around a, a barrier. Like they don't want you getting that close to a barrier. So if you're trying to build between like two habitats, everything everything's obstructed all the time. So that's one thing I, want, I hope to see change is a little bit more leeway on that. But we'll see. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Turn on barrier snapping. Yeah, but I don't want to have to do that. I just want it to... It should just allow me to put the path wherever I want. Just not in the, in the actual uh, habitat. Then I can have nice pathways like this where people can look at... Uh, warthogs, and then look over here at the ostriches. At least we're making some good money, though. Oh, wow. Look at all the people checking out the turtles. They are amazed by this. They are absolutely thrilled with the turtles. This is good. Better make sure we put a donation bucket. Slide that right in, nonchalant. Hey, how about Whoa, we made $17,000 off this one donation box. That is a good spot. That's awesome. All right, well, we're at least making some good money. Bum, bum, bum. All right, so the only thing I need to work on now is enrichment for a lot of these, uh, a lot of these animals. So we're researching the things that they need right now. So yeah, we definitely need some enrichment toys and things for them to enjoy. So unfortunately, in this game, you have to research it. So there you go. Uh, Alexander, check the description where it says read the description down below to read the description. Bum, bum, bum. Who isn't thrilled with turtles? These must be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. In fact, they are. Look, it's two turtles becoming becoming one. They're fused together. Oh, and they're moving at top speed. Hold on, boys. Here they go. Wow, look at them go. Don't blink. Amazing. Look at how much food they've got. A huge amount of food. Where'd all the people go? They moved on to the next exhibit. Cool. Boom. Cabo man, are you watching the stream? We're literally looking at the animals right now. Are you are you watching? Alright, I want to build a new uh let's get some new animals. I wanna maybe do a mixed enclosure, though I would like to see if I can get some uh giraffes. I'd also like to unlock some animals that I need to get with conservation points. We should do that today. Try to raise an animal and then release it so we can get more con uh, conser conservation points. Let's try that. I think we have to raise some wild dogs. You just got on? What do you mean? How, how would you know if we looked at the animals or not then? A lot, of, a lot of people do that. Do this. Oh, sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we've got some monkeys that we can get. Oh, they got some good appeal. Look at that. 4,000 points for this. Um, what is this exactly? A mandrill? Oh, we're going to need a giant cage for him. He's got some pretty good appeal, though. We also need to get some lemurs here, too. But I need to uh, I need to get some animals that I can actually raise into a higher... 
into some higher prestige. I think what I want to do, we have 300 points. What I could do is try to get like a uh, a wild dog and then raise it and release it back into the wild. That's what we kind of want to do. Let's see. Also, I hear hippies. Where are those hippies? I thought I heard protesters. Wow. Look at all the people in the zoo. This is a really nicely set up zoo. I gotta add some more decorations though to like the walls and things like that. But I'll get on the decorations later after I build the habitats. Would like to do another habitat around here maybe. Don't know what I could put down. Oh, this would be perfect for a habitat right here. Something small. Maybe we could put the mandrills in there. That'd be kind of cool. Do -do 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 -do. Park looks good? Well, thank you. Yeah, I, I played offline a little bit and kind of focused on building a better park. Certainly not perfect, but it's much better than my first one. And no animals have escaped from this one. Though I did have two hippopotamuses that I bought. Dis like, they just disappeared. Like, they weren't there anymore. And then when I repurchased them and put them into the, into the enclosure again, then the game crashed, and then it gave me the hippos back, and then it took them away again, and then, then it finally started working. So, there you go. YouTuber! Answer me immediately! You will answer to the regulatory commission of my inquiry. Right now, YouTuber. Dude, chill. Alright, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's for about the first hour that we get the game requests, and then they burn themselves out. And they realize they're not making any traction, then they bail. So they'll, what usually happens in the chat is that they'll usually just spam the name of a game repeatedly. Or they'll just say, you should play, you should play, you should play, you should play. And then they, about, about an hour in, then they leave. It's really annoying, I know. But it's just the way the game is played. Okay, let's try to make a path here. How about some snakes? We actually do have, uh, if you, if you put down snakes, you have to do them in this. Like a, it, this is called an exhibit. And inside there, I have, like, this rare beetle or something like that. I don't know if you can see them or not, but people will come and check out the beetle from time to time. Where's these hippie protesters? Oh, right here. All right, security. All right, we gotta get we got to get security to escort this person out. Ma'am, thank you for paying, uh, you know, the entry fee in order to get kicked out. Thank you. All right, escort the hippies out. Escort the hippies out. Hi there, Reed. How you doing? Wow, the entry uh, entryway looks really nice. I wonder if I could put a small enclosure here. I don't know what I could put here. This is definitely like for monkeys or something like that. We'll see what we can do. Are there foxes? I don't know. I haven't I haven't seen a fox yet, but there certainly could be. Okay, we got to increase our uh, entry fee a little bit. Let's do like do like ten bucks. Trying to make some more money. Do 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 do. Let's see here. Protesters are angry about the low welfare of the hippos. But yet they're not even protesting anywhere near the hippos. Yeah, the only thing right now, the low welfare is caused by a problem in the social group. So I need to buy another, um, I need to buy another hippo. Also, apparently they have low er nourishment. You guys got to go eat. I can't, I can't get you guys to eat. But we also need to buy another hippo. So let's try to do that. I want to try to breed some other animals so we can get some more conservation points. That's where the real challenge is. Mm. No, ostriches have more of an appeal than they do. Okay, we'll have to check back. In the meantime, I'm going to build a um, habitat for humanity. No, I'm going to build one for the uh, maybe lemurs or monkeys or something. Let's try that. That might be cool. Alright, so I think I'm going to put an animal here. We could put, like, turtles or something here, a different type. And then I want uh, a new enclosure over here, so let's give that a shot. 
Welcome to all the new subscribers today, too. Appreciate everybody subbing and saying hi. It's good to see you all here, so thanks for dropping in. Uh, we want the height snap to be at one meter? No. 20 meter fence. Wow. That is a long fence, man. Go with like 8 meter. That'll just be fine. Uh, apes? Yeah, if we can find some apes, we'll go for them. Right now I'm going to try uh, lemurs or some, whatever has a higher rating. I'm basically trying to make it. First I want to try to make a ton of money for our park. So I'm going to need some cash as soon as possible. Uh, there are rhinos in the game, but I don't have any yet. We will have to get them eventually. Uh, yep, there's grizzly bears and I think polar bears too. This is quite a large enclosure. Maybe we could put, maybe we could make this our mixed uh, pen or something like that. Do -do -do. Oops. All right. Put a window there. There we go. I like how the enclosures aren't perfect squares. They look a lot nicer when they're kind of oddly shaped. They kind of fit in a little bit more realistically. Are there fish? No, but there should be. I don't I don't think there's fish, but it'd be kind of neat to see like a little pond or something. Yes, crocodiles. Yep, those are in there. They're they're big and scary. All right. So now what can I do about getting more animals? Actually, we should do a marketing campaign too. Let's do a uh could always be doing a marketing campaign. Marketing. Oh, we're already doing two right now. Okay, that's good. Uh, we could get some boa constrict. Oh, look at some of these animals. Look at that. They bring in like 2,000. That would bring in a lot of people. For a very cheap amount of money. I want to try to do something where I can release them back to the uh, wild, though. Okay, let's see if we can find another hippo. They need a friend. I need more hippos. There we go. I'm buying these two. Good. Okay, we need to get that social group for the hippos going. Alright, good. Alright, two more hippos. That should make them happier. And that'll bring the guest happiness up. And let's see. Wow, look at... I have I have food and drink here. And we have food and drink here. And we have food and drink uh, here. And it's still not enough. Where's all of our vendors? I hired quite a few of them. Uh, how many vendors do we have? Yeah, look at that. I got six vendors. I should hire some more then. A few of them are on break. So let's fix that problem. And just hire another one just so they can have a break. Okay. Whew. Uh, one male for several females. Well, if you want them to breed, otherwise you can put them on contraceptives so they can't actually, uh, they can't actually give birth or get pregnant. But you can turn it off at any time, which is really helpful. Because if you're trying to get another hippo and you can't afford it or you don't want to spend the money, that's a good way to do it. All right. We got ourselves the inspector here now. We got to be careful. I want to do some more exhibits here. But they're very expensive. It's like, it's $5,000 literally to build like a glass box and put a snake in it. It's like $5,000. It's crazy expensive. Hi, Discord Ian. How you doing, my man? People get picky when it comes to food in this game. Yeah, they really, they want, they want more food and drink everywhere. Actually, the drink, you're going to need a lot of gulpies. Like, look at, there's a gulpie there. I got, I got tons of these things around. Didn't I hire another vendor? All right, you just can't have enough vendors, it seems. Their staff break room is, like, right over here, so it's not even that far away. There's the break room right there. 
So in order to walk back, he just has to go over there. It's crazy. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, we're going to add some decorations eventually and make the park look a lot nicer, but I am still working on where to place animals. And I need some more money for exhibits up here. Do, 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 do. Uh, I don't know about llamas and alpacas. There we go. Right, I'm going to put some more there. Do, do, do. Our donation boxes are bringing in quite a bit of cash. I don't even know what I'm going to put in this one. Is that a guest? Ooh, sir. I don't know why you walked all the way over there, sir. Or the park's not even functioning yet. I don't even have anything close to being completed. Oh, cool, they're battling. Yes, for dominance. Yeah. Oh, we got an alpha male situation. Somebody's the new alpha male now. They're mad because they don't have toys. We're still re we're uh, researching that right now. Let's see. Low on cash. Yes, we are. You need a research center. I already built one. Let's see. Where's the research center? Don't I have one of those? Oh, this is for curing diseases and such. Doodly -doo. Yeah, we're really losing money. We need more donations and such, but the hippies are making it worse with their crap protests. They're not making the situation any easier. Doodly -doo -doo -doo. Come on, quit protesting. You're wasting time and money. It looks like we're at least bringing in a good number of guests. Okay, education is low. I don't even know. There's, there's very limited options in this game for education. If you type in education, it brings up only a few options. Like a TV and a speaker is pretty much all you can do. It's kind of really difficult. Uh, is there a way to get rid of the protesters? Uh, well, you have to improve the conditions of the animals that they're complaining about. All right, how are we doing on these animals now? Oh, there we go. Things are improving for this one. What's the social issues here? Yeah, we have four. Adult population. Oh, they just need to socialize. It just takes a little bit of time. Plenty of hippos. Oh, maybe if we feed the hippies to the hippos, we'll have hip hippos. Ooh. These guys are just mad about animal welfare. But to be honest, like the only thing I can't do is I just I can't give them like a ball or something like that. Also, how do I increase nutrition? Drink cleanliness. Oh, okay. It's the uh, the pond is getting a little dirty. That's why I put a water bowl over there. Wow, everything's like locked now. Oh, here it comes. Do do do. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to research things like a ball and stuff like that. It's kind of kind of annoying. Let's see. I don't think I have any breathing room for a loan anymore. I spent too many on animals. Oh, no, never mind. That one's good to go. Oh, and this $20,000 loan only has $2,000 to repay. Okay. 
All right, let's work on improving animal welfare so that way we can get that rating up. Okay, so this turtle's a little upset. He didn't have good water. And he needs a ball to play with. <laughs> it's so dumb. What? I can't believe the game doesn't... You have to research all that stuff. I can't believe it just doesn't give that to you. Seems like such a basic thing. Let's go back to uh, research. I don't even know if I'm doing research at all. Habitat. How come this person is no longer doing research? It seems like the research just stops and then you have to assign somebody again. Weird. I didn't turn it off, so we'll see. I'll have to learn how to do that one. Oh, insufficient funds again already? I didn't even... I barely had time. Wow, we were like bleeding money like crazy. Yeah, we have a water bowl down for the, the turtles over there. But I don't have any money, so we'll just have to play the waiting game. Do, 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 do. I will speed up until we can actually take out that loan, then we'll be okay again. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Kimono. Uh, we don't have a kimono dragon in here just yet. Uh, the research randomly stops for me in the game as well. Don't know why, says Emma. Oh, okay. Kind of weird, yeah, because I assigned somebody to like research stuff and then it doesn't get done. We'll have to keep an eye on that. I've had a few things. This is early access, so things aren't going to be perfect, but, you know, that's fine. That's why the beta's here, to make sure everything's working okay. And then we report back problems to the developer, and they make it better. Okay, let's take out this loan here. There we go. Okay, so now we got a little bit of money. All right, um, so let's focus on making sure research is getting done. Mechanic research. Is that not researching new stuff? I thought that's what that did. What? Animal has escaped? How? What? Oh, what are you running for, people? It's just an ostrich. For the entirety of this game, they have not been able to escape that uh, pen. Is that is that a glitch? Because if they escape, they usually escape right away. That's That's hilarious. I've been playing this game here for about four hours offline. Never had that problem. All right. Someone get the gun. Well, at least it scared all the guests away. Now they'll have to repay for the entry ticket because a lot of them didn't get that hand stamp on the way out. Genius. Ba -ba -ba -ba. It's a glitch. It got stuck in the door. Oh, it could have. Well, my door's over here, though. Well, he did. He was over here. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he did jump. But... Like I said, I've been playing this for about four and a half hours, and that is the first escape. Luckily, the hippos have a concrete barrier. I hope they don't come smashing through that thing. Bum, 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 bum. wonder if there's a way to see in the Zoopedia whether or not they're tall enough to jump. Oh, good. Everyone's coming on back. Good, yes. Bring all that money. Fantastic. Wow. We are just, like, burning through cash. Yeah, I think this fence you can make a lot taller. So this is good for like lemurs, ostriches. And then it's, it's a weak fence too. So you can put like warthogs and like turtles in here. It's uh, like a, tur a turtle is not going to cut. You don't need a giant like 17 foot thick uh, concrete wall. Come on, protesters. This park is wonderful, but they're, like, ruining the rating. 
You guys are like bumming everyone out. Come on, we're trying to get trying to get this place happy for all the animals. So according to this, the adult population for the hippos is not high enough. But it, well, no, it is because the adult population is four. They need four or more. But they're just upset for whatever reason. So social's at 30%. We need more hippos. And they want a lot more water. Are you kidding me? You need that much more water? Look at this thing. Look at look at how much water is in this enclosure. I mean, literally, I just need a... I just need a... Uh, I just need, I need like an island or something like that. Let's see. What else do they want? Hard shelter. Okay, I need to make some more beds. Nutrition is good. Habitat. Space is at 40%. We could probably expand the enclosure just a little, but it's more about the water now. Thank you, Kendra, for the five. Appreciate that. Wow. Hippos are an incredibly expensive investment. Maybe I won't do hippos again because you have to have... You have to buy, like, four hippos and then the amount of space that they take up. Like, I could add a section down here that's crazy well you know one thing i don't like about the game so far too is that if you quit it, it saves your game so if you like um if you save your game your, if your park is doing really really well and you're like oh i'm gonna get elephants now and you build a giant elephant enclosure and you spend all that money and it ends up like sucking and like killing the park you can't go back so it's kind of kind of bad can you breed them to increase numbers yeah but that takes time and time is money Wow, this zoo was doing really, really well, but now it's just really bad. It was actually a really good park for a long time. Those hippos wiped us out. I can't believe it. Hmm. I think what we really want to do is like focus on animals that are high, uh, like high reputation. So, like, you want to do. Well, how's this hippo still in the trade center? Did I not deliver that one? Okay. I guess it's on its way now. Are the hippos evenly distributed? I don't know if the mates have anything to do with social. Also, I'm just buying them just to get their numbers up. I'm trying to quickly solve the problem without waiting too long. Well, I think that's it. We're going to be bankrupt because I don't have any more... Uh... Wait, what are these two carrying? Oh, I see. We're too far into the negative now, probably from too many employees. Let's see where our cash is going. Total profit, negative 8,000, mostly due to staff wages, loan payments. Wow. I should have just canceled the loans when I had the chance. Holy crap. I don't know if we're going to pull this one out of the nosedive. We'll see. Okay, now we should have five hippos. I need to build some more shelters for them, too. I cannot believe how big the enclosure for these guys is going to be. I thought I made it big enough. You know, like, I made a huge lake over here and then added another one. Not enough. You literally got to dedicate, like, a sixth of the map just to hippos. Crazy. Because they require four, so then you got to make enough space for four, and that's just... That's huge. That's that's lesson learned there. But I made a really cool alcove for everyone to go and like take a look at them. Really neat. The hippos seem pretty peaceful though. Yeah, well, in the game you're you're at the mercy of the uh RNG of what is offered in the animal market. Animal you can't just like go to the supermarket and buy a monkey. You have to like you have to hope you have to hope the monkey is there. And then if it's if monkeys require like multiple monkeys, then not, not only are you waiting for one monkey, but you're like waiting for five. Do you have a filtration system in the hippo habitat? No. Do I need that? I didn't even know filtration is a thing in the game, is it? Oh. Well, that explains the turtles. Okay. Well, that's something I guess I hadn't thought about. 
Yeah, there's a new feature in the game for power and for water. So there's a filtration utility. Okay, so I'm certainly going to need one in each habitat. Let's take a look at how big that... That covers. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. This makes it... This just makes it... You're going to have to, like, build things more complex than ever. That's crazy. Uh, Willie, thank you very much for the five. Appreciate that. Uh, we're back. I was, like, at a one and a half star. Now we're back down to, like, a, a one star zoo. I would at least say we're, like, at least a three star zoo. We've got tons of animals and stuff. I wouldn't, like, just give us a one star rating with all these animals. There's a lot to do in order to get that one star rate, the, the multi star rating. Uh, the red means that the water is not filtered. I didn't. I actually didn't know you had to do that. I did see the water filter there before, but I thought that had to do with like um, some like for animals that only go in the water, like for example, like a fish or something like that or whatever. Do, 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 do. Man, I really like this. I can set the price to 25. Mm, no, we lost a lot of sales in the previous. I played the game before where we had a price at like 12 and it wasn't enough. All right, we'll raise it and see what happens. But what we don't want to happen is miss sales. If that number goes up, then we know we're, we're having a tr problem. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. You know what I think I need to do now is just wait for our loans to, uh... Yeah, we're done. We're done. We're, we're done with our loans, so now we should be able to just make money from here on out. Yeah, see the people? Yep, people are turning away from the gates. The price is way too high. So that is not accurate. There we go. That's better. It seems like the cutoff is about 15. Okay. Half price for kids? No, I need... If we're going to keep on playing, we got to have that price up there. And hey, we're starting to make some cash now. Mostly due to the fact that we've also gotten rid of some of our expenses. Let's see. Total profit now is negative seven. Oh, perfect. It's coming up. Animal feed is only like 50 bucks. Power running costs. Okay. All right. So the next problem is going to be to make the hippos happier. They're a big attraction, but I need to work on improving their habitat. Two animals escaped? Uh, no. All the animals are in their enclosures. This too here means that the zoo is low on cash, and it also keeps telling me that the bathroom is inaccessible, but people are literally going in there and coming out, so I, that's a glitch. We just literally saw people walk in there and go out, so I guess not. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I am such a cool man. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Jeez, I just want to take out that $75,000 loan just to fix some problems here. I think I should do it. There we go. All right, let's get to work on fixing a few things. So we need water filtration. Can I put that inside their uh, habitat? I think that actually has to be connected to a building. All right, let's fix the hippo habitat. I think this has to have a path connected to it, which sucks. Because that means it's going to have to be right in the middle of the habitat. Is that how it works? Or can it just, like, sit right there? Water facilities require power and are used to keep water bodies clean. Okay, so I can put it there and, like, hide it behind a tree or something like that. So we can put it wherever we want.
I'm gonna put it over here by this tree. There we go. And then is there power here? Oh good, it's right within the power grid. Okay, so that'll fix that problem. And then... I need to put another shelter down for the big boys. And probably expand their uh, shelter even more. Again. Hippos are so expensive, they're totally not worth it. They're such a pain. At least right now. Do, 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 do. Lazy river style around the park for hip... Oh, yeah. That'd be kind of cool. The, the, the amount of space that these guys need is crazy because of their social group requirements. They need uh, four plus hippos in order to be happy. And their uh, sleeping quarters takes up a lot of space too, so hippos are just super needy. And this means I gotta get rid of more trees because they don't they don't really like having a lot of trees in the habitat. There we go. Alright, let's make just a giant body of water for this. That's a cheap way to clean the water, isn't it? <laughs> Delete the water source and then put it right back. That's cheating. That's not fair. Oh, well, at least the water's clean now. Okay, let's get rid of this. So I'm gonna make this all water over here. And these guys need a ton of water. A ton of water. Dun, 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 dun. But I think what we need is a certain they need like a certain number of meters of water per hippo and so we have like what four can I build an Arby's I guess technically I could yeah I could build like a little uh, shop that that looks like an Arby's dun, dun, dun. yeah we can make some Arby's for sure Ah, uh, yeah, this is going to be kind of an island here. Alright, hippos. I don't want to hear it about the water anymore. Sir? Is that Jesus? Okay. four sleeping spots, but that's fine. Uh, Tyler's Tubular, why do you always wear sunglasses? Well, if you've seen me more than once, then that means you've ignored the description more than once, too, where the gargantuan letters down below say read the description. So the question really is, why do you always ignore the uh, information that's been provided to you? You're mean, YouTuber. That's right. Cruelty. Absolute cruelty. Let's see. Environment's good, right? Okay, let's unpause. Let's see how they... Th what do they think now about all the water? What do you guys think about all this water I bought you now, huh? Calculating? What the heck? There 
you go. <laughs> that was weird. Crazy. Alright, social and nutrition and such should start increasing. They've got food here. I know they're not happy, but at, at least the terrain looks okay. The enclosure is complete, right? Yeah, everything's connected. Okay. Oh, who is this guy? Cleaning habitat. Oh, he's like walking the perimeter? Okay. Oh, these guys are hungry. The social should be increasing. They've got five. So that should be helping. It's just going to take a little bit of time. However, it says zero for water area. That's not right. Is that because the water is too steep to get to? That might be. I think we need to get rid of this. And we need to smooth it out so they can actually get in there. Bum, 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 bum. They should be able to get into this one. I've seen them swimming over here before. Alright, let's smooth out all the edges then. It's not really working. Not smoothing this out as much as I want it to. Let's try this. Yeah, this will work. Maybe the water's too deep. Uh, the water depth is actually good. They, they want to go underwater. Okay, maybe that'll help them now. I guess it wasn't able to calculate that because the water was too... Uh, oh, good. Habitat's good. Water area is still a little too low. But if they can make it in there, it means it counts. So that one's going in. Hmm. Use the edge fourth icon. Rod, what? Fourth icon. One, two, three, four. Flatten the surface? Oh, I see. I think it's good now. They seem to be able to go to the water's edge to drink. So all they got to do is go in for a swim. I hope that counts as a. Uh, I hope that counts as a thing for them. Like as a water source, we'll have to see. No diving board, no. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. It's not safe enough. And uh, Del Kitch, thank you very much for the one dollar. Appreciate that. Very nice of you. Very nice of you. Thanks everybody for all your super chats today. Welcome to all the new members. If you guys want an animal named after you, that's the way to do it. Looks like the hippos can finally get into the water. Okay. That one's got water access. But they have a requirement of 3,000 square meters of water. I can't believe this.
How can it? Well, it says there's only 500 square meters of water. Is that a bug? Our land area is good, but this says 526 square. We have more, way more water than that. That's got to be a bug. Yep, they're swimming in this one. Can they swim in this one? Maybe the maybe the water's still too. Uh... They should be able to get into the into the thing, right? Let's try this again. Oh, so sorry, 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 sorry. Oh god, I scared the crap out of him. <laughs> sorry, hippo. Okay, hopefully that's low enough for him. Oops, sorry. Put a shallow connection between these two bodies of water? I could do that. Seems like it's gonna be a big pain to do that, though. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what you get with a beta. Some things are probably still broken and they're they're gonna improve upon it, but this is working pretty good. Happiness is low, baby. Oof. Mostly the animal happiness, though. Yes, wild dogs would be a good addition over here, but I first need to, uh, well, guests are walking all the way over there. I don't want them walking over there. That's going to hurt happiness, too, because they're walking well far away from all the entertaining stuff. Okay, we got two two feed things going on, so nutrition shouldn't be a problem. Oh. Well, that one's hungry. Oh, Lord, he coming. Wow, oh, there's a lot of people here. Keep that money coming, boys. Yeah, we're still just dumping out the cash. Can security please escort these hippies out, sir? Pepper spray them. Are you security, ma'am? Spray them. Ma'am, this is private property. Escort them off. This isn't... This is private property. Or feed them somewhere. Oh, Warthog became injured? Oh. Well, luckily we got our veterinarian. He'll take care of him. What animal next? Well, I want to make sure the hippos are happy because they're a big part of our happiness at the park. Or at the zoo, and I want to make sure they're good to go. Let's take a look. Does this count as water now? It's not, it's not counting it. It's not calculating it according to this. The biggest thing, though, is social. Last drink cleanliness was 0%. Well, you can lead a hippo to water, but you can't increase the number. Deeper water? It, does, it doesn't get any more deeper than this. There we go. If they can't get in over there, then I have no idea what to do. This is perfect right here. They should be able to walk right in there. But the reason I have it so deep is to add to the square meter that's required. Oh, now we took away too much land. Oh, it went up to 700 now. Ugh. Well, let's... Let's make the water shallower. Let's see if that works. The hippos have single-handedly destroyed me. feel about this now. Oh, the land value is good again, but the water is still too low. Hmm. 
Do you make an area for piranhas for the protesters? Oh, I certainly wish I could. I certainly wish I could do that. So there's no indicator as to how deep the water should be. I wish th I wish they would show you like how deep it needs to be so that way you don't make it too deep. And I can't raise or anything anymore, so that's Uh, create a waterfall. I suppose you could with jets, but the game still doesn't have any sort of natural waterfalls, which would totally fit here. Well, he's, well look at that one, Hippo. He's just hanging out. That guy's just chilling. Cool. Let's see if he can get in. Oh, I hear, I hear somebody. Are they, oh, are you guys going to sleep? Nope, he's coming in. Let's see if he can go for a swim. Not yet, anyway. Okay. Ba, ba, ba. He might go in. I don't know. Wow, they make an absolute mess. Now I got this big cliff here. They're not going to be able to get over there. Okay, let's take a look at... Wow, those protesters have been there forever. Security needs to remove them. Security. I love the music. What? That's not what I want to do. There, maybe that fixed it. Oh, there we go. We're getting closer. Okay, we're getting close now. Hi there, Warlord. How you doing, my man? Uh, are there water plants available like low... Oh, yeah. Uh, I think there's plenty of water plants. There's lots of plants in the game, yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Crisis averted. on fixing the water situation. I can't really make it any higher than this. There we go. Are they not... Can you guys not go in the water? Social doesn't seem to be improving either. Do we need another hippo? Yeah, this is all about, all about the hippos today. They are very needy. They want a certain number of hippos, and then they want them... They want a certain number of hippos. And then they want them to be... Uh, then they need a certain number of land and oh. Oh, there we go. One swimming. 
All right, we got it. One male, four female minimum. I wish I didn't have to read to get that information. So it's all about the other sex that they live with. Okay, well that makes sense. How many males do we have? Is there a way to see... Uh, let's sort by... Hippo. Oh, they're all, uh... They're all the ladies. The ladies only zone. Do they need a boy? Yeah, let's... They're all crabby because they don't have anybody to go out on a date with, I suppose. Wow, the... Uh, Alright, ostriches, you guys need to chill. I need an ostrich, uh... Okay, everybody's going on birth control. You guys need to ha You guys need to chill. You guys have had way too many. Are you sure it's not the rabbit cage over here? There we go. Alright, uh, where was I going? Okay, I was trying to do more research, but I ran out of money for that. Oh yeah, we need another hippo. <laughs> Alright, we, we need a boy hippo. I can't control that, though. It's all random. So, if we can't get a boy hippo, they're just going to have to be... Oh, it's like there's nobody in the market now. Alright, they're going to have to wait. Oh, there's groups of people going this way. Don't go over here. But the game's AI was smart enough to keep them near the exhibits. But I guess not. Wow, the rhino or the uh, hippopotamus enclosure has really changed. You guys happy with everything else? Yep, they're happy with. Literally, there's like one tree in here, and they're happy with the one tree. That's all they want. Everything else is just a giant mud pit. Okay. Work on something else in the meantime? Well, if you're paying attention, you'll know that there's not a lot of money and that we're losing quite a bit of it. Could be the end of the uh could be the end of the line for us. We're trying to bring people in, but protesters are blocking the way. Some of their families need to conveniently disappear so that way uh it makes way for the zoo's profits. That's the power of pints all, baby. Water treatment needs repair, okay. Do 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 do. All right, water for the tor tortoise is fixed. That's a cheap way to do it, but at least it'll save you $2,000 instead of buying a pump. Filling in water is totally free. Do, 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 do. All right. Again, Jason Hasing, if you were watching the stream, you'd know that we didn't have any money. Problems actually take uh, funds in order to solution. Just like in real life, my man. Dun, dun, dun. Wow, we got all these people in the park, but no money coming in. Wow, look at that. We got five hippos now. They need a boy. I don't even think there's any available still. Sell the adult ostriches, what, for like 200 bucks? I don't even know how to do that. Send animals to storage. Put, put them in, yeah, put them in storage, yeah. What the hell was that? Oh, he put them in a box to do... Do repair on them. 
Uh, the sub screen is broken. Since YouTube changed the whole sub count rounding, it's all been broken. There's no way to actually do it. I don't want to move him to the to the uh, sales center though. Plus, he's probably only worth like 500 bucks. Like, he's not going to be worth that much money. Like, watch if we move him to the sales center. I guarantee he's not worth much at all. Forty-six bucks. That's all he's worth is forty-six bucks. Anybody here want an ostrich for forty-six dollars? Yeah, we need animatronic animals to cut down on costs. Yeah, forty-six bucks. You can't even buy like hamburgers for a party for that much money. Like forty-six bucks would get you maybe like a five. Uh, I don't know, like maybe five to ten pounds of hamburger, and that'd be it. Meanwhile, an entire live animal for $46. Sheep go for like thousands of dollars. Based on quality and such. Yeah, he's back. Wow, look at the confetti for when they arrive. What is that noise? What is that noise? Oh, I think it's supposed to be the vacuum, but the animation's not there. Doo -doo. Yeah, we need to get a KFC franchise deal or something in here to get more cash. Well, the park is really good. The only thing that happened is the uh, hippos, for me having to redesign it like three times now, they're not even worth it. Next time, I'm not, I'm not getting hippos next time. They are such a pain in the neck. And now one of them's injured. Oh, that's the warthog. Where's the vet? We have a vet in here. I don't know. I don't know why he's uh, not over here. Yeah, this game is super addictive, but the problem is I've I've got problems now that I can't necessarily solve. Like my biggest problem is uh, loan payments, but I don't want to sit here for like ten years and wait for money to come in. I mean, truly, we're only making before expenses. We're making like six thousand plus. What about donations? Taxes? Why would you charge taxes? Or like non -pro non profit. Wonder how much it would be. Ooh, how much could we sell a hippo for? Good high quality hippo. Yeah, we're basically dead. You know the thing I don't like about this game though is that you just can't save. So if you run an experiment, you're not able to do that. Yeah, anyone want to? Yeah, I know the 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 ostrich is forty six bucks. That's it. Like, that's you could you could buy dogs for less than that. Oh, here we go. Mom's just vacuuming while the boys are fighting. Boys, be nice. I, I sh you know what I should do is consider doing a uh, mix, um, a mix pen. But I don't know what I could put together. I'd have to put like uh, ostriches would be cool with like peacocks, I think. But what I really want to do is put zebras and uh, giraffes together. But again, with zebras and giraffes, the problem is you got to make such a giraffes are very tall, so you got to put a big enclosure there. Okay, money is basically. Not coming back for a long time. Animal happiness is still unhappy because there's no mail. And everyone else is in the orange because I couldn't research a ball for them to play with. Is that the way to, is that the only way to really get like a a, a a toy or something for them to play with? Is to like literally research a, a ball. Cause I don't know I'd I'd do the game doesn't yet cover research uh, in the tutorial. And it, it seems like some of the research gets done and then whoever is working there just leaves. And then vet research seems to only solve disease. Oh, There it is. That's the ball. Oh, so you're supposed to build the research bonus. That's got to be the play thing right there, right? That's what we want. So then let's go for Hippopotamus. 
Level one research, go. But I don't know if he takes money or something to do that. Okay, never mind. I found it now, finally. So we want a toy for them to keep that happiness up. Darn, if I would have known that a long time ago. Then what is this? What's the mechanic research for? Like researching habitats... Blueprints. I, I, I don't know what that means. Also, lots. It's not really usable information. Yeah, every day is a learning day, that's for sure. Well, we'll see if the park rating can come back up, but for now, it's going to be a long wait for us to get enough cash. Antelopes, hogs, buffalo, zebras together. Just like in the wild? Yeah, but it's like a... I don't know, it's like an antelope and a... Warthog going to get along, or do they attack? Different kind of enclosures. But you make the enclosure yourself. It's really about the material. Like, uh, you can build an enclosure out of wood, brick, concrete, chain link fence, or uh, corrugated steel. So if, if you'd like to, you can put a... Uh, you know, like the turtles over here are perfect behind the, the wooden barrier. And that way, it's mostly for the guests, so they don't go in there. And same with, like, the zebra. Like, the zebra are pretty calm. They don't do much. Alright, so we're going to keep losing money for a long time. Until our loans are pretty much zeroed out. We'll see how it goes. Put ducks and swans in the hippo area. I'd, I haven't seen ducks. I haven't seen common animals. Let's take a look. Actually, wait, if I just go to the Zoopedia, let's see what's in the game. Buffalo, elephants, wild dogs, tortoises, tigers, boa constrictors, nope, uh, common ostrich, warthog, oh, black bear, tortoise, alligator, nope, nope, goliath frog, grizzly, Himalayan, well, there's a lot of bears. Indian elephant, cool. Oh, okay, we got rhinoceroses. Wow, they got a lot of stuff in here. Reticulated giraffe, yeah, that's what I want. I want to get me a giraffe and a lion. Oh, there you go, snow leopard. Titan beetle. And I've seen, these are just what's in the game. Oh, re what, what, research, what do you mean research? What? Uh-oh. The ostriches again. I don't even have enough money to solve this problem. <laughs> uh, did I ditch the Asian theme? No, the only place you can build is in Asia. I don't even have enough money to like capture that animal now. So now the animals roam free. Sir, if you're coming back, you have to pay the ticket fee. Sir? Okay. God, these protesters. The protesters, when the animal came at them, they booked it. And then once... Oh, oh, is he back in his cage again? That you have to pay for and run? Okay, good. Now I'm back to protesting. Knowing. Yeah, Indian elephants seemed cool. Alright, well, let's get over our money troubles. I'm sure they'll be solved when we actually pay off these loans again. Alright, note to self. Uh, hippos suck. I'd like a rhino instead. Oh, here we go. This is what I want to do is take African wild dogs for like 35 conservation points and then raise them and then release them into the wild. That's the way to make that. If you if you buy them for a low amount, you can sell them for a much higher amount and that's how you get all the elephants and stuff unlocked. That's the greatest way to do it. Or log in on the daily basis. But this is what you need is conservation credits. That's the most important thing. Alright, well, I guess we just got to go bankrupt for a long time. The money's just going to have to naturally even itself out because of these tremendous uh, loan interest fees that we have. Put in a food place. Yeah, I'm sure that'll... That'll solve things. No, what we want to do is research now. We want to keep doing our basic research for all these animals. 
Really again? Same ostrich. If he keeps doing that, I'm gonna put him down. What is going on with the research level one? Do they need money to do their research? I don't, I don't even know how that works. Alright. Well, yeah, uh, food and drink can increase income, but it's mostly about keeping the guest happy. It's more important. You're, you're not going to make as much money. It's not as important for money as it is important about that. Research out of research. I thought I was researching before. I was learning all about it. Oh, look, park guest went from like 400 down to 78 because an ostrich escaped like two or three times. That little annoying bugger. There's too many of them. I got to get rid of them, but they're only like 46 bucks, so it's not even worth it anymore. Right, I'm putting some of you in storage. I'll stop it, you two. Good fighting. There. Get the big ones out of there so they can't escape anymore. Wow. We're like $100,000 in debt. Only 36 people are here. It's crazy how the game can tips, tip like that. I built this wonderful park. And then it kind of went burp. Mm, petting zoo. I can't get the male hippo. We're $100,000 in debt. Have you been watching the stream? Oh, look. We can sell... Ooh, we can actually trade him for 21. Oh, yeah. Give me those conservation points. Perfect. This is actually really good because I can... Uh, Yes. Wait. Complete. Where's my money? I'd rather have uh, conservation credits now. Even if we have to abandon this park and ba have to bail on it, uh, then you have to spend 100 points to open a new one. But it could be a good way to uh, generate points. Just take all these animals here and start putting them into... If you raise them and then they become really good quality animals, you can put conservation points on them. But apparently that's glitched because I'm not even getting the I'm not even getting the money back from that. I don't even know what the hippo research is right now. I think this is the mo oh it takes an hour to do this. Oh okay. oh god, that's so dumb. That's a that's a weird like kind of paywall thing where it's like if I want if I needed if I wanted to buy an elephant and I needed five conservation points and I sold an ostrich for twelve, I still gotta wait another hour just to get the elephant? That's kinda of, that's an artificial that's dumb. That's an artificial way to 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 make the player wait. That's that's not a good that's not a good game design idea. I don't I don't understand why that would be there. I mean, it already takes long enough just to get the points, or just to raise the animal. Why, why add an extra thing for his mom to come pick him up? <laughs> like, she'll be here in an hour? Okay. Wow, look at that. 100, 109,000 just from the uh, loan debts. So those are very dangerous in this game. The, uh, lo the periodic loan repayments. Looks like we've paid all the loans off now. But ain't nobody coming to this park anymore. Hell no. Guest happiness is an all-time low. So I think the best thing to do is... Uh, oh, there's still a bird loose. Sir? Vet, could you come... Yeah. Security? Oh, okay. There we go. Put his ass back in the cage. <laughs> okay, is there anybody out now? Close to death? All right, well, we're going to move you into storage then. Bye. They can't die if they're in storage. Okay, you people can come back now. It's safe. Wow. Change the cage design. That provides absolutely no detail whatsoever as to what it should be changed to.
or what should be changed. You got to be detailed. Okay, we have 16 guests now, guys. Things are things are looking up for us. You know, I wonder in this game though, now now that we're, we're we've hit rock bottom, right? In this game. So now it's like the only way we can go is up and get better. Happiness is like zero. Everything's zero. How do you how do you come back from this? Of the 16 guests that we have, do we just have to keep them happy? It's hippie protesters who are stuck in the staff only area. I can't. Okay. They won't leave from that area. Oh. Look at that. We got some of our conservation credits. Good. So, like, nobody's ever going to come back to this park again. She's she's dead. Aw. It's just protesters. <laughs> That's it. The only people who are here are protesters who are just permanently pissed off. So the park's dead, not because of our money, but because, like, the protesters count as guests, and since they're angry by default... They're just going to always be here and be angry. Okay. Well, there you go. Wow, I was really proud of this zoo, too. It had a nice design to it and was working really well. But when I started with the... Hold on a second. I got an idea, guys. Hold on just a second. If I quit this game, it's going to try to save. But if we go to our old good friend, the task manager... If I quit this, it's going to save and our zoo will be ruined forever. But if the game happened... Oh, oh darn, it seemed to have crashed, guys. <laughs> How unexpected. Have to report that to the devs. Oh, I better type up an email to, to the devs right now of uh, Planet Zoo. Dear Planet... Uh, how do you spell zoo? How many Q's are in zoo? Okay. So, a couple things in this game that need to change. Like, the, the protesters are a little too tough, and then the thing where it, like, forces you to save? I, I don't like the cloud save thing. Like, if my park sucks, I want to reload a save. Like, that should allow me to do that. Oh, dear God, it saved. It was too smart. Oh, wait, nope. 565 people. There we go, we got around that crappy cloud save crap. Allow a player to save. Oh, look at that magically, people have returned. What happened? Oh, here they are. All right, hurry up. Get the vet on him before he chases everyone out of here. Wait, what? It said it was at 500 guests. How did it just go to 100? Uh-oh. Seems to do some sort of auto-saving in the background. Are you kidding? Oh good, no one can leave if the ostrich is here. Oh, except for the damn protesters. What the f- <laughs> Ah, never mind. I tried to bypass but it seems like it's not going to work. Wait a minute. There's still a chance. All we need to do is just... Oh, ooh, happiness is there. Okay, hold on. There, There's a chance. There's a chance this could work. Somebody get that ostrich. Okay, good. There's a, there's a chance we can get some gas. Oh, they're coming back. Yes, they're coming back. Woo! We did it. All right, we got it, boys. 
Yeah, last time the game just permanently got stuck on protesters just being permanently angry, so thus no one was going to come back to the park. Are you kidding me? Somebody escaped again, didn't they? Wait a minute, where is he? How did you get there? You were just... What? That doesn't even make sense. He spawned there. Come on. Alright, I'm shipping you guys out. That's it. This also is a really good way to cheat, uh, cheat converse, uh, conservation points. Like, I think you can put them in there, sell them, and then, like, reload your saves. So that's a risky thing. They tried to put some uh, multiplayer element in the game by making it so that way you could trade animals with other players. So you could work really hard on, like, getting an elephant high quality and then trade it to a friend. But that's just going to make problems in the end. Where's the animals? Literally walks in front of the veterinarian's office and the veterinarian nowhere to be found. Trank him, please. <sighs> do do do. Uh, no, we're not starting a new zoo. That would be the wrong choice. We just need a veterinarian that's been called out to actually come over here. The park will work. We just need this animal to be out of the way. Where's the damn vet? Well, there. That worked. Okay, now guests can come back again. Oh, my God. Okay, good. All right, everything's back in their cages again. Hopefully, we can recover from this now. Well, we've absolutely hit rock bottom, so let's see if we can come back. Hunger and thirst are not too bad. Happiness should increase. Okay, now we just got to research those other things. Oh, we need money now. All right, now we play the waiting game, kids. Yeah, I played this for a very long time, and they never escaped from the habitat, but now they seemingly are. To be fair, though, let's put all these guys in storage because they're really good at... Uh, they're really good for conservation points. We'll put them all in storage. Is this one glitched out or what? He won't... Nobody's moving him back into his thing. That's weird. Ah, whatever. Anyway, let's see if uh, guests come back now. So we're at 151. Happiness is... Ooh, energy is increasing. Good. Uh, more donation boxes near hippos? I, can, I, I don't think I can have any more. Plus, we can't build anything because we're out of money. What I think uh, would be a good move for the future, now that I know how to do that enrichment thing, is I went wrong a little bit by not fully maxing out each one of these enclosures to the maximum happiness of the animals, and I went for variety. But it seems like guests can tell if a turtle is sad, and so it's like, oh, Honey, that turtle seems mildly dis disappointed. Oh, we got to get out of here. Like, how the hell would they know? <laughs> what? Spotted protester. Oh, you're... Oh. If if the inspector sees a protester, I get fined for that? Okay. Well, I'm taking all the big ostriches out of here now, and I'm going to try to ship them out for, uh, for points. Also, this one's stuck for some reason. Doesn't seem like some... That or somebody needs to come over and transport them. Do, 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 do. Uh, please give the hippos a large shelter in shallow water. Uh, have you not been watching the stream? I, it's literally the largest enclosure, and they're swimming in the water. I don't know what I don't know what to tell you.
Doo -doo -doo. Also, is this water clean or not? Oh, it is. Okay. Hey, chat news. How you doing? The uh, actual number of guests is increasing. It's going up. But those damn protesters are protesting because, like, the turtle doesn't have a ball, the ostrich doesn't have, like, a, a Game Boy Color, and the hippos don't have a DS. Yeah, tranquilize, yeah. Oh, our money's just from lack of guests, that's all. We're kind of in this, uh, we're hitting rock bottom right now. Although we should be done with our loans, good. Even with all these loans, I, there's no way I could get out of debt. This would give us $100,000, but we'd still be in, uh, under... Oh, wait, what are these? Oh, there's two seventy fives you could take? If I got money, though, it, I don't know if that's going to actually help us. Because, like, the only thing I, I need to do research... I, okay, so the, the major goal right now is to make animals happy. We need to make the animals happy. I'm going to try to get the hippopotamuses. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, magically, look at Now suddenly research is working. And then it stopped. But why? Research got halfway and then he came to a stop. Oh, maybe he left the building and went on break or something like that? Hmm. What's up, Eddie? How you doing? Tall grass makes hippos a Land Rover. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, the thing I should have did from the very beginning of the game that I didn't know about was the uh, enrichments are incredibly important. Maybe it requires multiple vets? No, well, you need multiple vets. One, to take care of the animals, and two, to do the research. So if you're going to do any sort of research, you better have two employees so they can still do their job. Uh, Troll, you've asked the same question about five times, but all you needed to do was check the description once. All you gotta do is read the description, check the description, open the description, and look at it in its entirety. All you guys managed to do is piss everyone off with the constant copy pasta. All you gotta do is read once. Thanks, Alex. Appreciate that. All right, we should be able to actually save this park after all. Guests are increasing. Happiness is actually approaching halfway. All right, not bad. And research could be completed on those hippopotami. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so it seems like research is... Wait. The person, like, le is that a glitch? It seems like somebody goes to do the research and then they kind of, like, get bored and then leave and then they don't come back. Research collected. Congratulations. You've discovered three items for one species for the hippopotamus. Okay. So now in order to put down a uh, $5 blow-up ball from Target. Let's see. Um, so the hippos want this. A $10 this thing. And that'll make them happy. Oh, and that, that and another uh, male. We need to buy a male hippopotamus, too. Are there any male hippopotamuses, please? Uh, one male hippo and a berry white CD. That should fix everything. Yeah. All right, well... Having a ton of money would be great, except I need a male hippo, so I'm not going to take out a loan until we have a male hippo. In the meantime, apparently we can just do research for free, and money is coming in, so that's good. Let's uh, work on the ostriches now. Or no, let's make the turtles happier. Nah, we'll do the ostriches. Can't believe that we have to like research a uh, like a blow-up doll or something like that for the ostriches to enjoy. Can't just can't just uh, throw a little 
little thingy bobber in there for him. Uh, you can buy certain things with conservation points, but I want to actually get... A, I'm going to need a lot of conservation points. Because uh, all the big stuff in the game costs all those, so... If you go to animal trading... All the cool stuff costs points. Well, maybe not the buffalo, but if you want an elephant, you gotta pay like a, thou a thousand research points. Yeah, like if we wa if we wanted to get a tiger, boom, fourteen hundred, and that's a long way away. So essentially, what we could do is just basically uh, get a bunch of ostriches and then just keep selling them. But then it takes a while, like it takes a long time to sell everything. All right, well. Kudos to me if I can actually pull this uh, park out of the gutter. Ooh, hunger and thirst are improving. There's a lot less guests, so I guess there's no lines. Oh, perfect. And happiness is starting to increase. Okay, research has been completed on those. Okay, let's go for the Galapagos turtles now. And they're going to research whatever. Okay, so research is getting completed. Everybody forgets to train their employees and focus only on animals, but you need to level up their skills. You can level up a, or, or ostr ostrich's skills? No, you're right. Uh, I went for variety is what I was trying to do, is to get a variety of animals, but truly... It's correct. What you should probably do is start with maybe three, maybe four enclosures. So start with like ostriches, warthogs, maybe some zebras and some turtles or whatever. And then start researching everything to make them 100% happy. Uh, do animals breed automatically? Yes. If you put a male and a female in a cage, they'll do that. Is this ostrich still here? That's a glitch. He can't... He, he should be dead now. His welfare is literally zero. It's a, it's a glitch. He can't move. Uh, Mr. Doodle, uh, rather than spamming chat repeatedly, uh, maybe just say it once. All right, so guests are dwindling. I don't know how we can get happiness up anymore. I guess the happiness would be the happiness of the animals, right? So let's cheese out with the turtles. There we go. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to take out some big loans now. And see if we can uh, start buying some enrichment stuff for the animals and make them happier. Oh, if we get this is actually kind of cool. We've created a really difficult scenario. Like, if this could be like a scenario in the game, like, oh, an incompetent YouTuber who thought he was funny tried to start a park, and now it's up to you to actually make it work. Something like that. What? There used to be more than. What? The game listed loan two seventy-five thousand dollar loans. Now it took them away. Oh well, rip to that. There's no way I can get that money now. Well, if we can get some more guests in the park, that's all it's going to take. We just need more and more people in here to actually be happy. And then they'll be good. These protesters need to chill. Uh, yes, there is a day-night cycle in the game. I just turned it off and have it permanently set to noon so I can see what I'm doing. But you can actually like put up lights and make it look all nice at nighttime. You can even adjust the hours for when the zoo is open and closed, but I don't 
really know what the purpose of that is because it's not like people leave the zoo. Dirty hippo water? Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Were you were you using that? I'm sorry. Could you step out, sir? Thank you. There we go. Yeah, it's not a raptor stream without it being literally midnight. I think this scenario is salvageable, but it's going to be just really finicky about what we need. Oh. So we don't really need money right now. What we need is just guest happiness to increase, and then tons of people will come in, and that that's what will bring in the money. But I don't know exactly uh, how to do that. What I could probably do is sell all the animals and start back in the corner again, and then eventually expand. But that'd be nice if the game didn't have this cloud save feature. An auto save feature where it's saved every year would be nice. Like I said, if you if you built an enclosure and it didn't really work out or you made a mistake, you just go back and redo it until, until you figure it out. It's a good learning process. Get some ATM machines? Yeah, I'm sure that'll work. Uh, we don't have monkeys, no. What I have is ostriches. Uh, turtles. We have some uh, warthogs in here. We have some hippopotamus. And we have some zebra. Quite a few zebra. And then I think we have something else. Uh, oh yeah, we have this uh, beetle over here in this enclosure. Do, 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 do. do you get to choose the genders when you buy them? Uh, n well, you can choose it if they happen to... If there's a male and a female, you can purchase them, but you can't necessarily... You can't put in it orders. So if you're trying to get them to breed, you have to... Uh, you kind of have to get lucky and uh, get a male and a female. And the cool thing about that is if you do get them to breed, you can sell them back into the market for conservation points. And then that's what allows you to get, like, elephants and things like that. How much do I got on donations? Let's see here. Well, this one right here has got $21,000 right here at this at this one. The turtles have made me $21,000. Those are some good turtles. I think, though, we're uh, rock bottom. I don't, I don't know if we can actually save this one. It seems doable, but it seems like the people walk around and they see a hippie and then it's all over. Can these people get kicked out of the park, please? Protesters are angry about the low welfare of some of your animals. Well, you being upset and driving away customers means that I can't get money, and so I can't improve. If you, ma'am, if you went home and go go to work at the Speedway gas station, go back to your job. I'll take care of this. Do do do. And then I get a and then I get a hundred dollar fine on top of that for the inspector spotting a protester. Uh, no, security doesn't seem to be able to remove protesters. They walk right past them. They should be removed from the property, though. They're, they're the ones killing everything. They're lowering the happiness of the guests, and so thus no more people are coming in. Uh, no, a lower entrance fee won't bring in guests. What causes guests to spawn is the happiness rating. The higher the happiness, the more guests that will spawn. Or if guests leave, and the game will work in a cycle, as if people are going home for the day, and a new day begins, and the new guests come in. No, I can't pick up the protesters. If you click on protesters, the only thing that happens is it tells you why the protesters are upset. It tells you what you can improve upon. Raptor fixed the box. It's annoying. I don't, I don't know what that means. What box? What is that noise? Oh, are people quitting? Oh, what was that all about? A bunch of error messages just popped up and now they're all gone. Can't find accessible staff center. Oh, everybody went on break at the same time.
Ooh, look at this break room. Holy crap, that's detailed. Whoa. That is crazy. Are we playing like a first person game all of a sudden now? Well, there we go. Uh, a little taller. There we go. Wow. That is amazing detail. Look at that. There's tea and coffee, a toaster, cereal, towels around, magazines. That is that's amazing. Does the veterinarian like <gasps> Dude? I didn't know these buildings were this detailed. Oh, here's the nutrition for all the animals. This is where they make their food. This is the uh This must be the uh where they do the surgery. Oh yeah. Wait a minute. There's two of these? Oh. Well, everybody wants to go on break. Guests are slowly increasing and so is happiness, but we're just going to have to get lucky at the timing. Essentially, it needs to tip. Happiness needs to go over 50% so that way we can uh Happiness needs to go over 50% so that way we can get enough guests to make money. But those protesters are just killing it. Are the food stalls working? Yes. But nobody's going to the uh, food stalls because there's only 132 guests. This park is beautiful, though. I certainly learned a lot about building a park by playing it the other day. So it, this game is all about the animals. Everything you do has got to be all about the animals. We're almost two hundred thousand dollars in the uh, in the be in the trash. Yeah, everything went good until I until I built the uh, hippo enclosure. I, this is why I wish I could go back to an auto save before I built that. Then I could just focus solely on the uh, other enclosures. But the game has this weird autosave feature where it won't let you go back. Oh, I don't need that. Wait, what does this do? Alright, jeez. They're complaining about a staff room being full, but I can't tell. This is This is a break room, but it doesn't look like anybody's using it. Oh my god. I like how the inspector only shows up and then he gives a hundred dollar fine if there's a protester, but that's all he does. Like if there was an ostrich running around attacking people, that's not a problem. But whoa, what's that? Is that a hippie protester over there? Hundred dollar fine. Uh, check research out large ellipses. Well, I don't know what the large ellipses is for. But what would check, quote, check research out do? What would be the purpose of that? What would be the end game goal of, quote, checking out research? What would that do? Well, the zoo's not falling apart. We just don't have any money. That's all. Like, animals aren't dying. P uh, guests are coming in, and they are coming in in a greater number. But the biggest problem is that these protesters are just standing at the uh, most, like, highly trafficked areas. And because I can't kick their asses out of the park, everyone's just not happy. So they come in, and they see a zebra, and it's like, oh, that's really cool. And this guy's like, hey, man, you should use, like, hemp toilet paper, man. And then they get sad, and then... <laughs> and then they just... Then they leave. Do, 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 do. Wow. Alright. I think this might be salvageable, but it's gonna have to it's gonna take a little bit of time. No marketing we can't do, we have no money. But this is the worst option here. Save zoo, save or save. It's like, no, I wanna go back to like a previous give me an auto save so I can go back to before things were like completely destroyed. By my own incompetence. 
But in retrospect, the most important thing then is to do research over here at the research center and then make sure all animals are 100 percented out. But this is this park is beautiful. I'm really proud of how everything kind of turned out in the course of like an hour or two. It's really nice. This is my second park. Let's go back and look at my first one. Maybe I can actually... Uh, let's take a look and see how the first park actually looks. Compared to this one. So this one actually looks beautiful and has a unique setup. It actually kind of worked for a long time until I uh, went for the hippos. And then as animal happiness started to dip a little bit, that was it. That's all it takes. Let's take a look at uh, this one now. Yeah, it's pretty fun to balance the uh, animal's happiness and stuff like that. Okay, here's my first park. Oh, look, happiness, money. Oh, we have some money problems, but that's not bad compared to where we were. Ooh. Oh yeah, we have lemurs at this park too. Sweet. Very cool. Okay, let's do this. Let's let's fix this park immediately. Now that we learned some lessons at the other cool park. Let's first of all get some cash going. Actually, let's do research for... Well, I might not have a research center. I do. Okay, what do, what do we have? What's the biggest thing we have? Hippos? Oh, those hippos are not going to be happy. I can already tell you that's horrible. But we can make them happier with some uh, decorations. So let's do it. Yeah, the hippos just take up a ton of space. If you're going to build hippos, they need a lot of room. You need like four of them, and four of them take up about a space around this size. Four or five of them. And then you need a male too. So if you're, if you're going to start hippos, I think you should buy them first, keep them in storage, then build a giant habitat for them. And then you should be good. At least this zoo is bringing in uh, some guests. 442. Happiness is up. Hunger and thirst. I just need to build some more stands. Man, look at the lines at the drink stalls. Every time in this game. Drinks, drinks, drinks. Oh, wait. That's right. We're out of money. I'll focus on animal happiness first. Assuming he stopped the research, of course. That's a really annoying system, how they... Like, they'll finish half the research and then they'll just leave, and then you forget about the research, and by the time you need it, the guy's just, like, left. I hope that changes. Yeah, this is uh, more of an animal happiness management simulator. Animals' happiness is incredibly important in this game. Maybe the research is per item. Well, what it is is it's per tier. So when I when I tell Byron Kolb to start researching hippopotamus, one tier one research will give me a toy, will give me more information about them and more food variety, like it'll it'll help their nutrition, and then two will kind of do the same thing, and three and four Re rewards go on and on and on. Hi there, Timothy. How you doing? Welcome aboard to all the new subs. If you guys haven't already, make sure you click or tap that subscribe button and also click or tap that like button too. This game is good. The more I play this, the more I get frustrated and then the more I learn and then the more I want to play it again. So it's like, Ugh, and then it's like, oh, I'm going to do this next time. And then that's awesome. So my second park, it was way better laid out, but it uh, failed because I didn't know the whole research uh, line. But now this older park... Although it has a little bit of a money problem, we should be able to turn that around when we finish some research. I'm going to finish research, and then I'm going to uh, start focusing on animal welfare. That's going to be big. Does the game have penguins or crocs? It sh I thought there would be penguins in the game, but there will be crocod There are crocodiles, yeah. Oh, this is very good. 
I want to play this again this weekend. Because I'm really liking it. I want to start a whole new park from scratch. A whole new zoo from scratch. Given all the design lessons that I've learned. And gameplay, gameplay uh, lessons that I've learned. Why, why does this research take so long though? Like where's the person who I've assigned to do that? Shouldn't they be fired now? Like I've asked you to go do research and you're not. Hmm. Skleet Elvis is now a member. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much for clicking and tapping that join button with the thousands who watch on the daily, too. You guys can become members, too, and support. Remember, YouTube is demonetizing us left and right and doesn't want you to see what you really, truly want to see. So if you want to see more of this, make sure you become a member today. It's a great way to support. Welcome aboard. Arby's, may the Arby's, Wendy's, and the KFC be with you. Move the vet and lock him in. Well, look at this. We just need a little bit more research. I think I'm just going to hire like another vet. Just so other things can be taken care of. Oh, good. Okay. We've now unlocked hippopotamus research. Good. All right, let's make those hippos happy. So let's begin our plan. First, we gotta take out a big old loan. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at the hippopotamus now. How do they feel? Okay, looks like they need a little bit more water. But their biggest problem is going to be social. They need a few more, which means they're going to need a lot more room. Let's buy another one. Does a one-star vet go that slow or is it inefficient? Well, it seems like when you ask somebody to go do research, they seem to like finish the research or do half the research. And then they just leave the building, and then they don't go back to researching again. Oh yeah, clean water too. Good call. We'll need a water filtration system over here. Or do this. Easy. We'll do that for now, just to save money. Okay, so next thing I want to do is research another... ...animal. Let's do something for the ostriches now. And then if I train my employees, if I send them to training, they'll become more skilled and then they'll do research faster too, but it's a little more difficult as you're at the beginning of the game. Ah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, water filter will come soon. Right now, I'll just cheese it by deleting water sources and <laughs> reinstalling them. Okay, happiness is good. So we just need to w focus on food and drink now for our guests. So let's do a couple drink stands over here. money's dropping because we're spending it on things that we need, like these new uh, drink stalls and everything like that. I want to try to get it's more important to get guest happiness up in order to continue making money. Look at this giant line. Go to the other two stores, goofballs. There's people literally behind you waiting waiting to serve you now. Where do I live? I'm in Minneapolis. So ostriches are in the next research. Do we only have one? 
Oh, we have two. <laughs> this game really requires you to like slow down and take it take it real slow. Like in order to build your park, you're going to want to focus on one small area before you start building things big. But if the hippopotamus take up this much space, imagine like a elephant. Elephant's going to be like a huge, huge thing. 16 likes to 200? Oh. Yeah, we can do it. If you haven't already, you can tap that like button. It's fun. Cool. I like this large circular path that I built. That's cool. We should get some turtles and stuff, too. Oh, good. More research done. Okay, ostrich is done. Let's go on to the... Let's get something for the lemurs. Oh, they don't get toys until level 2? Okay. Alright, let's put down... Man, happiness is... That's like medium happiness? Like, happiness needs to be 80% or higher in order for everybody to truly be happy. Uh, habitat, ostrich. Yeah, in order to, in order to research a uh, $10 blow-up ball. Oh, they're hanging out in the shade today. Oh, we have lemurs. The lemurs are over here. At least we got all of our conservation points from the previous one. Hmm, this park seems to be doing okay. Habitat is good. A little bit more water would be good. The only other thing is another hippopotamus. One more hippopotamus and we should be good. Especially a male. Uh, do any animals need cooling? Let's see. Well, the temperature's warm all around, but I don't, I don't think any of these animals need it cold. Except for, like, the, uh, uh, the leper. What is this? That facility makes people mad? Oh, it's probably somebody's on break. Yep. So if it's closed, people don't like seeing that. Okay, that's an interesting thing to know. That's for the hippos. Very cool. Say my name, say my name. YouTuber acknowledge. Give me one. All right. This is so cool. I could I could literally spend all this time like building a Now that I know what I'm doing, you you could probably build most of your park just in this area. If you make things nice and tight, the guests won't have to walk very far between exhibits, and so they'll be happy the whole time. And then if they get thirsty or hungry, they just, uh, you know, they can stop at a, a thing and don't have to walk very far. So you really want to make things compact as possible, but also you don't want too many guests. It's actually working really well. Uh, does the research you do on an animal go for both zoos or just the one? Each individual zoo has to have its own research. So each zoo has its own money, its own research... Uh, you can't, like, you can't trade. That's a good question. Can you buy with money or conservation points? Certain animals require conservation points. So, usually what it is, is, like, you could you can buy a bunch of ostriches for money, and then you sell them for conservation points. You gotta kind of do things in this really weird... Uh, not really weird, but it's it's an interesting way to do it. 
You like you want to raise your animals and sell them. Trees on the walkway for shade. Yeah, a good decorative thing, that's for sure. You can do that right now, even. Yeah, there's a lot of decorating we can do. I kind of just want to restart. Now that I've, I've learned lessons in layout from this park, and I learned lessons in management from the other park. Oh, one of these animals is a little unhappy. Nutrition, and he's hungry. Oh, he's going for a drink now. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Okay. Very, very good. Guys, I want to come back and uh, stream this one again tomorrow and also on Sunday. So if you want to see more of uh, Planet Zoo, now that I've kind of learned what I'm doing by just playing the franchises, this is way more helpful than just playing the tutorial. I'm going to I'm gonna come back tomorrow and do this one too. But also tomorrow we're going to be playing Elite Dangerous on stream from our friends at Thrustmaster. I've gotten some new equipment that I'm really going to be excited to show you guys. But we'll go into uh, detail about that tomorrow. A lot of cool stuff to show, not just this. So I will uh, be back tomorrow for more. So if you haven't already, make sure you click or tap that like button. Thanks, everybody, for becoming members and for all the super chats and stuff. I uh, enjoyed playing this game, but i got to get on and play some other stuff for you guys for tomorrow. So this was a good learning experience. Today was really important. I really made some uh, big mistakes and, and things that I uh, really am proud about being able to go back and start anew. So we'll see if we can do that at a new, uh, at a whole new uh, zoo or something. I'll have to start a new profile so that way I can start with all my conservation points and we'll start with our first real big zoo next time. We'll uh, give that one a shot tomorrow and then on Sunday too and see if we can finish up this beta really nicely. All right, everyone. Thanks very much for your time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for enjoying and hanging out. Appreciate everybody not spamming the beginning of the stream with 14 different game requests of other... Um, oh, never mind. Never mind. You did, actually. <laughs> like always. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow for more. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Take care. Good evening, good afternoon, good night. And remember, use your signal. I'll see you all soon. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.